The question always is like, well, I'm coming back to the space. How do I make sure that nobody is gonna take my space when I leave? I'm gonna go do something I've never ever done in my entire life. I'm trying to dump my black tank, but there's a problem. So I've been staying here at this campground for the last few days and when you're in the rig, it's easy. You can just leave the rig here and then you, you have your tow car and I was going all over. I can run my errands. But when you're in the van, it's kind of like having to pack up the whole thing. But the question always is like, well, I'm coming back to the space. How do I make sure that nobody is going to take my space when I leave? You know, so I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to leave out my mat and then I'm also going to, I'm going to take off the uh, rack with my bikes here and I'm going to leave it in my campsite. And I'm also going to leave my electrical hose and a few of the other things in my space just to kind of indicate that there is somebody occupying the space because it's one of those open seating campgrounds where it's just first come first serve. So I don't want somebody coming in here thinking that the space is open when I'm intending to come back and keep using it. One of those other things that you know you just have to kind of make adjustments for. Then the other thing I gotta do before I move, I gotta stow the Starlink. And the way that I run the Starlink is I have the cable that's just going straight into the van and then I set up my little cables here. So I'm just gonna come over and unplug it here. I'm just unplugging it. And I actually put it all on a little cord reel here. I'm just gonna wheel this up in here and then it's going to the front seat of the car and now I'm ready to take off oh no one more thing I gotta turn off the air condition and unplug the 30 amp cables in I'm ready to drive so first off I'm gonna bring in the, the bring in the awning and I'm gonna turn the air condition off. I'm gonna close this window. These windows aren't meant to be open and driven at the same time. Just turn off my 30 amp breaker, not the neighbor's 30 amp. And now I'm good to go. All right, so we're off. Today, I got a few errands to run. We're gonna go do propane, and then I'm gonna go do something I've never, ever done in my entire life, and that sounds really, really bad, so I'm gonna take you along for the ride. But first, we gotta get propane because I'm almost empty, and it's getting hot, and I wanna be able to run the air conditioning for the cats when I go do the thing that I've never done before. All right, so let's go. You know, that's it's that habit where you do that walk around before you drive off, just in case I forgot something. But I think I got everything, but it's just habit. Anytime I start driving off in the rig, I'm always like, let's just do one more. <laughs> just do one more check. All right, we're good. We're good to go. Just got gas, propane, not gas, propane gas. Over here at the Metro Gas in Denver, we're looking at five gallons $20.16. So I was talking to the guy that owns this place, or the worker of Metro Gas, and he converted his car, his Jeep over there, to a run on propane so it doesn't take gas or diesel or anything. So he's fueling his truck over there on propane at cost, at whatever it costs for him to buy it for. So pretty, pretty fancy, huh? All right. Gotta pay attention to the road here. All right, I'm turning into where I need to go. And it's right over there. Not the gym. Next door to the gym. Coin laundry. Right there, coin laundry. You've arrived. So ever since I moved out of my parents' house a long, long time ago, I've always had like a laundry uh, facility. Like I never had to go to a coin laundry. Every time I moved into an apartment or a home, I always had my own 
you know, my own washer, my own dryer, and even moving into the rig, the old Super C, I had a washer and dryer in there too. And granted, it was always running. It, was, it seemed like I was doing a load every day because it was so small, but it was convenient. Now in the van, it ain't going happen here. So I've got a bunch of stuff I'm going to take to a laundromat. So here we go. So I've been keeping most of my dirty clothes in this little hamper here that I've got. And then at the very, very bottom, there's all my laundry detergent. But anytime I do something, just throwing it up in there. Whoops. I'm also putting in like all my towels. Gym towel that needs to go in there. Then I want to put in my bedding. This thing weighs a lot. Almost like three weeks of laundry in there. And it's heavy. Alrighty, got the clothes in the laundry, walked across the street to the uh, Shell gas station here to pick up my lucky winner $1.2 billion Mega Millions jackpot for later on this evening. I don't know, they changed it. There's like a $2 ticket now and a $3 ticket. And so I didn't know which one to get and the guy didn't really explain it. So I didn't want to get like the $2 ticket and find out I needed to pay the $3 ticket to get the winning. So I got the $3 tickets. $45 worth, 15 tickets. Here's to tonight. Maybe this video will never see the light of day. You never know. So as I wait, it's really cool. This app is called Dexter Laundry or something like that. And then you tell it the location and the machine that you're using. And then it sends you push notifications when things are ready. It's got the timer on it. So it's really convenient. So I'm just gonna chill here in the van for a little bit and just, just wait. All right, so laundromat wasn't that bad. Ended up doing two of the uh, two time size. It was like $3.50 each for the wash. And then the dryers, big old, huge industrial kind of dryer. And I was like, that's really cool. I just shoved everything in there. Um, you know what got me though is the pricing. It was $3.50 for the wash, each wash, but it was only like 25 cents for seven minutes of dry time. And I think it was in there for like 15 minutes. So it was like 50 cents to dry, which was like, not so and it was just fast i was here just chilling it was nice but i got everything put away i'll give you a little show of the uh clothes so up here in these two cabinets is all of my shirts shorts socks and underwear and then in here we've got jeans and a couple more shorts and then gloves scarves beanies and different sleepwear kind of stuff like that and i always have a pair of sweatpants down there. Everything in here, as I've learned, it lasts me about three weeks before I need to come back and do laundry. So mission accomplished. Yeah. There's a big old era. That's that's an old school one. Look at that big old air condition on the top of that thing. It's got era written on the on the doors. That's something interesting about the eras. They've been around for like a long time. So they kind of really got them dialed in. Unlike the Integra accolades, those were pretty new. So they were very rare to see on the road. You didn't really see them all that often. It's kind of interesting to see the evolution of how they've adapted from then till now. Well, trying to dump my black tank, my gray tanks, this new macerator hose, which is great, but there's a problem. This hose has a crack in it. So, and it's right at the beginning. So I'm gonna need to get some tape and a new hose, but tape to solve the temporary problem, a new hose to solve the permanent problem. And so now here I am in the van. It's been about three weeks and I'm still kind of getting my sea legs kind of figured out, still trying to make the adjustments. Cause you know, when I moved into the bigger rig, it wasn't perfect the first time I'm arranging and then rearranging and then rearranging again. And that's kind of what I've been doing here. And I'll be getting into a lot more of that in future videos. But in the meantime, van life continues and the cats, well, I think they're adjusting quite nicely to some of the new toys that we got for the van. So thanks for following. Be sure to like and subscribe for more van life content and especially comparisons between what RV life and van life are different because there's a, there's a huge difference between the two and it just, it's making my head spin just thinking about all this stuff. So more to come. Thanks for watching Claim the Vision. I'll see you in the next video.